Hello YouTube, this is Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. Uh, this video is going to basically show you uh, three booklet programs. When you uh, first open up your Lego Mindstorms EV3 kit, uh, it's going to come with a booklet and it's going to have you build your first robot. So this video is going to take you through the programming of pages 39, 40, and 47. So let's get to it. Okay, so in your Lego Mindstorms EV3 kit, you will um, receive this booklet on how to build your very first robot. And there are some basic uh, programming uh, skills for you to learn in order for you to understand how everything works. So what I will do is take you through the programming of the robot in this booklet. So here we go. So they will have you build your first robot um, up until page 40. And then on page 41 is actually when you will see your first uh, programming opportunity. And what they want your robot to do is perform the demo program. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what that is if you can't really make sense of this on the, in the booklet. And I'll show you with the robot what that will look like. Okay, so let me go ahead and make sense of what they're showing you in the booklet here, and then we'll see how that looks like on the brick. So um, what they want us to do basically is press the right button so we can get to the second tab. Uh, they want us to select, let me go closer here. They want us to select this brick program save. Then they want you to go down to the actual uh, brick save right here. And then they want us to select the demo. And then what we'll do is we'll see the eyes come on the brick and we'll actually see the robot do the demo. So let's go now to the brick and let me kind of make sense of all that. So again, they right now I'm on the first tab. They want us to go to the second tab, which is where your saved programs are going to be. They want us to select this file and there's the demo right there. So we're going to go down. And let me move this robot to the floor so you can actually see this perform the demo program here. So let me go ahead and get a little closer so you can see the eyes come on. There's the eyes. And that's all they want. They want your robot to go forward, spin, turn around and come back, and then spin kind of in the, in the position that you started with. So everybody, that was uh, basically the program for page, uh, that was actually page 39. All right, so let's move on. Okay, we're now on page 40, and you might look at this page and go, whoa, that's a very intimidating program. It's super easy. The reason why it looks complicated is they're showing you basically all the ups and downs and lefts and rights on where to press. So I'm going to go ahead and take this page, page 40, and make this a whole lot simpler. What basically they want you to do is they want you to program your robot to do a two-second spin right in place. So I, I'll, let me go ahead and take this kind of complicated program and make it look simpler. Okay, so we have our EV3 robot here. And let's go ahead and show you what this brick program for this spin is going to look like. So what they initially have you first do is they want us, we're on the first tab, they want us to go to the third tab. And that's always where your brick program is going to be, right there. So they want us to create a new brick program. So right now what you're seeing is what you'll always see when you start a new brick program. Basically the play button, and right now they want us to say, hey, what do you want this thing to do first? So we're going to go up, and if you see these dotted lines going up, that means, hey, push up so we can actually get to the functions. So I'm going to press the up button. So in the program right now, they want us to go over to the move tank block, which is this one right here with the two uh, large motors. So we're going to select that. So right now we have this robot going forward and, but according to the program, they want us to do a counterclockwise spin. So what I'm going to do is select this block so I can actually change this direction. So, I'm going to go down until we get to that counterclockwise spin. And then they want us to press the middle button to actually 
uh, confirm if that's what we want. And then the last thing they want us to do is to go to a two second time. So we're in this block here. What we're going to do is we're going to go right. So now we can go to a new block. So we're going to go up. And the time is always going to be at the very top. And to the right, right there. So that clock, we're going to go ahead and select it. And um, anytime you select time, it's going to default to two seconds. So it's already at two seconds. So now let's go back to the beginning. <clears throat> As soon as I hit this middle button, our robot will spin counterclockwise for two seconds, and it will be done. So let's go ahead and bring this to the floor here. And let's go ahead and just run that. Okay, so there's the two second counterclockwise spin, and that was for page 40. Let's move on. Okay, so I'm going to make this the last page of this video, and we'll continue this on another video. Um, when, when you continue after that page 40, they're going to continue to have you build um, and put a ultrasonic sensor on. So what I'm going to quickly do is show you the program for page 47 with the ultrasonic uh, sensor. And then I'll quickly go through this program right there and show you what that'll look like. So here we go. So on your brick, they want you to program a forward, use your ultrasonic sensor. And that is, again, if your ultrasonic sensor senses something uh, within 30 centimeters, it's going to have your robot stop. So let's go ahead and go to that. So again, if I get from the first tab, go to that third tab. And then we're going to go down to Brick Program. Okay, so I'm going to go up. I'm going to go to my Move Tank. It will default to going forward, so I'm going to leave it that way. I'm going to go up again, and I'm going to find, I'm going to find that ultrasonic sensor block, which is right there. My students call it the Wally Eyes block. And right now it's defaulting to 120 centimeters. So I'm going to go ahead and select the middle. And I'm going to drop it all the way down. Whoops, went too far. To 30. And then I'll confirm that. And then the program has me program my robot to stop. If it senses something within 30 centimeters. So I'm going to go to the right. Go up. Go to that same move tank. But instead of going forward, I think it's all the way down. There we go. And there is my stop. Press the middle button to select that. So here's what's going to happen when I press the um, start button or play button to have this robot go. It's going to keep going forward towards that Lego truck. It's The ultrasonic is going to sense, hey, something is within 30 centimeters uh, in range and it should stop. So let me just make sure I aim this correctly at that truck. And here we go. Whoops, let me go back. I had to go back to the beginning. And it sensed the Lego truck, so it stopped. Uh, in the booklet, they have you create this box, but realistically, you can use whatever you want. Um, to have your robot sense that item. So the cool thing again is if we actually got a ruler, we would measure this out. That would be 30 centimeters or, or something close to it. All right, everybody. So that was page 47 using the ultrasonic sensor for your Lego uh, EV3 Mindstorms robot. All right, everybody. So for this video, that is it. Uh, thanks for watching. I am out.